what's up guys this is slut rooster and i'm doing a nine day challenge <laughs> but not just any 90 day challenge as you can see a disciplined one so if you don't know me i write lesbian erotica that's how i came up with the name slut rooster has nothing to do with a slutty chicken just an alias because i also own a business and I didn't want my clients to be like yo what the f you know what is this slut shit you got going on and all that okay so let's do some backstory I've been an entrepreneur for at least 10 years I have started some great businesses hobbies side hustles whatever you want to call that I really have enjoyed that and I realized over the years that the reason why things don't stick outside of just discipline is because I just like researching how to make money. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I like the idea of it. I, I'll try the strategy. And then I walk away and I go find something else. So it doesn't matter if it may be $20, $200, whatever the goal is, the goal is achieved, and then I walk away. Obviously, that would make for a great YouTube channel because tons of people do that. But anyways, so today it hit me. I'm like, I want to be more disciplined. Everyone had their uh, 2020 New Year, New Me, and in February, I decided that I was going to fast. I won't get into all the religious part of it, but I did juice it. I juiced every two hours, did a little smoothie, and then I did um, water. That was about nine, ten days before I just started feeling really sick, and I was like, bro, I can't. So for... Um, I guess I was like maybe the 10th of Feb. So February 10th all the way till today, which is the 27th, I have been eating a vegetarian lifestyle. Really cutting out, you know, my usual cakes and ice creams and all the great, great, great bags of chips that I miss so much. <laughs> Needless to say, I did lose weight. I was doing it for religious reasons. Plus, I really wanted to lose weight. I had about... 10, 15, 20 pounds that I just like to get rid of. And so there we are. Fast forward to today, and I'm like, you know what? I kind of liked the discipline I had. I wasn't completely disciplined in some respects. Like, I really didn't want to eat bread, but I definitely had bagels a couple weeks ago. You know, I really didn't want to eat anything fried, but I definitely had ch chips when I was on a road trip uh, a couple weeks ago. So, you know, some things I definitely did not stick to. And other things I really committed to, which is amazing for me. And this is a new lifestyle change for me. So hence this birth of a 90-day discipline. And so in this video, we're going to kind of go through just basics. You know, I kind of created this little presentation. And then I'm going to document it for 90 days. And that's going to be a discipline in itself. Can I document for 90 days? Not every day, but I mean... You know, 90 days is like 90 videos. <laughs> and so maybe not 90 videos, but hell, can I even get 60 videos, right? All of this is a challenge, and I'm looking forward to growing this space with growing this space with you, but growing in this space, you viewing it, us sharing it. I don't know when you'll find this uh, challenge, if you'll be here day one with me, or if you'll find me on day 77. I don't know. But anyway, so... Let's start. All right, so my overall agenda, and uh, we're going to just forget all the grammatics and, <laughs> and spelling because I definitely did spell check. So the overall, okay, so number one, create habits that increase productivity. Two, get healthier. Like I said, I already kind of started this journey of being, I won't say vegetarian, I won't say vegan, but choosing to have more plant-based foods in my diet and you know, the burgers and the pizza that I adore, having that more sparingly. The chocolate cakes, the ice creams, having that more sparingly. So it's everything's still there, but, you know, we'll just switch the ratio to more of like a 20% or less for the bad foods and 80% of it being lifestyle. Create a better cardio life for my puppies. So I have two dogs, August and Poppington. They are amazing Poppington is a very traditional dog. He likes the dog parks and, you know, he wants to be outside. He wants to play fetch. He wants to socialize with other dogs outside of, you know, his sister. Like, he's he's a real dog dog. He loves hiking. Like, 
And I don't do enough of that, so I feel bad. <laughs> and August is more like, I would love to sit on your lap and watch you hike. Yeah, that's August. She's very kind of bougie, pretentious. And she's not even like one of those really cute dogs where when you look at her, you're like, oh, yeah, I can see that. It's like, you can't really see it, but she really is. Like, fetch for her, it's just running with the ball. You know, they go get it, but she don't get it. She just turns back around and runs back. So, yeah, she's just, <laughs> she's very, very hilarious in that respect. So, number four, retire from laborious tasks. What does that mean? Well, I own a business and I tend to still wear all the hats. I haven't built a business I could walk away from and let my employees or contractors do it all for me. So I want to retire from that way of thinking, that lifestyle, and even cleaning my own home. Like That could be a job for someone else who really could use the money and really finds cleaning to be therapeutic. Like Just anything laborious, or laborious, however you say it, is uh, what I wish to eliminate... And number five, I want to spend more days at Disneyland. Now, yes, we're in the middle of pandemic. That is going to be challenging. I don't know how a theme park to work with a mask. But if I choose days where there's not as many people, which I would imagine is before summer and maybe like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, probably less people, I think it'll be fun. I do need to get a better mask. I currently live in Vegas, so that means... Either I'm flying out there often or I'm going to have to just move, which is what I want to do this summer anyways. Why now? Like I said, in the spirit of in the spirit of already kind of doing this lifestyle change, I think this is just so appropriate. I was uh, reading this little book called uh, Power Journal for Women. And it just came to me. I was like, I want to be more disciplined. I don't want to have to join the army to do that. But I understand why the military men and women, when they come back, if they're, you know, lucky enough to come back to, um, you know, their, you know, the soil. And, you know, they usually start businesses and they really thrive because they already have such such great discipline. They already have such goal setting. Like, they're very structured. They have a routine. Like, a lot of a lot of the things like they may not exercise as much you know but some of those military traits stick with them and that's kind of what I want to achieve without having to sign up <laughs> also I found some really cool opportunities that I'm still in the same space I feel like like I'm trying to figure out my credit like my credit's finally great 700 plus score I'm trying to build my business credit and all of these things have to be built and it's time. There's some things that you just can't cheat and that's time, right? So I'm like, crap, here I am again, ready to move and do certain things. But because I wasn't building this last year and I'm building it now, it's, yeah, time. But I'm hoping all of this comes together by summer, hence the 90 days. Alright, so I'm starting March 1st. Today's the 28th of February. It's going to end May 30th. I wanted to do it before summer, I think. It's a great way to focus spring. It's like a little bit of winter just before summer ends. So it's like a springish challenge. Um, I don't know the reward. <laughs> But I have, some, I have some time. I have, two, I have a day and a half to figure that out. What is the reward? Obviously, it's going to be the discipline. But if we understand human psychology, 90 days is a long time to build a habit, let alone going back to all the things that I want, right? More productivity, you know, retiring from laborious tasks, all of these things, right? It's like, what's going to keep me motivated for the 90 days? I haven't figured that out because it's not discipline. I mean, that would be great. But there's got to be something that is really going to shoot me in something. I don't know. But I'm going to figure it out because that's the whole point of this is to build it out. And I hope you will go on this journey with me because I'm <laughs> I think it's going to be funny. So it is my goal to also, um, like I said, make a whole course on this. The next video, I'm going to kind of go find this. I don't even know. Is there a discipline challenge already that I could just buy? Or if I, do I have to create this one myself? 
from scratch. That'll be interesting. So what are my problem areas? Starting and never finishing. What does that mean? I literally, what it sounds like? I start things and I get excited and the momentum's there and it dies out. Number two, starting and finishing, but abandoning the reason I, I started, which is what I shared earlier in this video, is I tend to find ways to make money, it's cool, and then I abandon it. Instead of turning it into a business, I just do something else. Uh, waking up to scroll all areas of my phone life. <laughs> We're all guilty of this. My phone life, meaning my emails, Twitter notifications, Instagram notifications. I actually cut out social media with fasting, not on social media. I cut out Netflix and Hulu. I only watch documentaries or cartoon movies, like if my spirit is low, because depression's a real thing, mental health's a real thing. So every once in a while, I got to turn on some kind of Mickey Mouse, you know, Pixar or something to lift my spirits up. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so yeah, so I cut out Instagram. So I'm really in this fast. Twitter has been great because Twitter is mostly just crypto. So I don't have a lot of that like gossip. I don't follow any gossip pages like Shade Room, E Entertainment type stuff. Like I've been really good at that. That's been a very good discipline that I've created and very happy with those results because I have way less shit in my head about somebody else's life I don't know. Guilty of pop culture. Um, going right to work instead of, number four, going right to work instead of enjoying me time. Meditation. I'm guilty of that. I will see an email and if it's something I gotta do, I will get right to it. Instead of, uh, like I said, instead of uh, focusing on what I should do. Number five, staying up late so I wake up late so I wake up late and my dogs can't start their day when they want to this is a big problem so I have puppies you know they have little potty pads but I want them to use the bathroom outside I want them to get off the potty pads because I hate paying for them and two you know it's just more things I like to not smell in my home <laughs> so that's a part of why I need to wake up at a certain time build that routine not having a budget I really just spend money, not uh, recklessly, but it's always good to have a budget. It's always good to know what you're doing, what you care to do. It's just a responsible thing, even when you have millions of dollars, to make sure that your money is being invested. I'm big on investing. That's why I'm in crypto. I'm in the stock market. So being able to allocate certain funds every month for savings, for investments, for you know, everyday living expenses is super important. Not planning anything. I tend to just buy, like even in crypto, I'll buy something and then I don't know why I bought it. I don't know when I'm supposed to sell it. I don't know anything. Eventually figure it out, but that's the point. Why not just make a plan before you do all the things? Number eight, when planning, not reviewing the plan. You guys like all these uh, grammatical errors? Me too. <laughs> so when I do... I don't review the plan. That's a problem because then you don't know where you're going. You're just kind of letting your emotions of the day lead your trading, lead your life decisions, and that's horrible because we all know if we're in a bad mood, we're probably not going to make the best decisions. We're probably going to want instant gratification instead of delaying it. Number nine, no recap of the day. This is something that I've learned that successful people do, and I love the idea of it, and I am not good at that. So that's going to be one of my biggest challenges is to recap my day, my emotions, what, what happened, so that I can look tomorrow and go, oh, okay, cool. Not reading books. Someone's, I don't, what is the, there's a challenge. Is it 52 books a year? I think that's a challenge, like one book a, a week. And I'm not doing that. And if I did, God, I do buy a lot of courses, but I don't read enough books. So I need to figure that, how to do that in the 90 days. Because in 90 days, that's what, 12 weeks? That could be 12 books. Watching too much Hulu and Netflix, yes. Now, I'm guilty of watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay stuff. A lot of cooking shows, right? All the bake-offs, all the challenges. I like things that are entrepreneurial, not saying that makes it better, but that's what I like to watch. And then Netflix has got me on this Love is Blind and all these love shows. Because <laughs> some days my love tank's a little low. 
So yeah, I watch too much of it. Even though I'm working while I'm watching it, but still, far too much television. Using TV for noise instead of music. I definitely have this problem. I could just play music without words and then I wouldn't watch as much TV. But there's so many more problem areas and that's going to be the thing, right? 90 days is a lot of time, but you want to see habits. Can you focus on 30 things for the 90 days? I don't think you can. I think that's kind of like the point, right? We're overly we're overly multitasking. We're overly per, uh, stimulated, right? Because we got all these phones. We got all this imagery. We got all this stuff to watch, right? We got YouTube videos. We got TikToks. We got Snaps to watch. So I'm going to figure out how to limit this so that it could feel the most efficient. Because these problem areas... It's a lot of areas. Some of them you can kind of combine, but even combining, that's six to eight things. That may be too many things. That may be too ambitious. The goal for me is to build real habits, not feel like an overachiever. I don't want to feel that. I want to feel like this was challenging, but strong progress was made. I think that's in my slide show. Oh, nope. Last slide here, why I shouldn't do this. Back to human psychology, right? We know why we want to do it, right? If we go back, we know why. Okay, this is, the, this is why. These are the whys. Why shouldn't we? And it's crazy because if you ask your mind, I always say ask better questions. And this is why I added this slide. Why shouldn't I do this? Your mind is going to come up with amazing answers. So my first answer is, I don't want to. <laughs> my second answer is, I think this is a long time. My third reason is, I think you tried to do a challenge before. You didn't succeed at it, right? See, look, this is the honesty part. Can you be this honest with yourself and say this out loud to yourself? That you're a flake and you don't even want to do this? <laughs> it's too long? Yeah, I'm that honest. Why? What's another reason why I shouldn't do this? Because I'm already healthy, right? If you go back to these, I'm already healthy. I already have good habits, right? <laughs> My dogs walk enough. They walk through the house, right? All those like old, old man ones. Ah, I don't want to do this. That's a stupid. You kids do the dumb. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty good as far as why I wouldn't want to do this. And that's all the reason to do it. The fact that the mind decided something and undecided that quickly as soon as I asked the mind, as soon as I said <laughs> why I shouldn't do this, my mind gave me all the excuses. So this is why I'm going to do it. Because if my mind can talk me into things and it can also talk me out of things I want, that's probably life's biggest problem is that the mind is here to sabotage you. And self-sabotaging, I have definitely had have had in my life very dominantly it's not as dominant but it's dominant enough that this 90 day challenge is is needed so there you have it i'm doing this because my mind is already telling me to don't do this but anyways i know that video was long but hey it's the intro wish me luck this is going to be so crazy i will definitely show my face eventually in one of these videos so don't you worry see y'all